One of my favorite parts was just uh, in the apartment where uh, Blue Beetle was talking to the, the Red Ranger. Oh, the Red Ranger. Red Ranger. <laughs> <laughs> Nerd on. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Nerd on, the podcast you didn't need, but you deserve, where all levels of nerd are welcome. Whatever doesn't color, matter. even if they're that greedy orange lantern. I was gonna say, yeah, it doesn't matter how many rings I got. Yeah, yeah, it does <laughs> there it not is. matter. That's the one. Um, Even rings on the toesies. You could have 20,000 rings. You're still welcome here. Blinging. Bling. Your ears and your nose. Oh. The, uh, the bling <laughs> core. Places. Can that be a thing? Bling core? Yeah, sure. Maybe. I'd be part of that. <laughs> yeah. The bling Hell core. Hell yeah. The golden um, lanterns. The golden lanterns. <laughs> but nice. what, what does this mean? We're talking about rings and lanterns. What does that mean, Josh? Well, we are talking about Green Lantern tonight. <gasps> but let's be specific. It yes. is New 52, yep. New Guardians, Volumes 1 and 2. Shout out to Kyle Robinson. Uh, shout out. But also, I appreciate Josh for telling the uninitiated. Right? Yes. That, yeah. that means a lot. <laughs> well done. Well done, sir. We are talking about Green Lantern and guess which No. <laughs> guess which one. Good luck. Well, uh, I am Josh. If you are not initiated to the Nerd On tribe. I'm Corey. My name is Tom. Ali. Caitlin. And this episode is brought to you in part by our patrons over at Patreon. Patreon. I just love always saying that. What, it's what? good. Feels good. Yeah, it feels, feels good. Feels good to say it together. When we I like see the waveforms line up, alone. I'm like, ooh, I like that. We like you guys. <laughs> but um, before we really get into the topic, we have to do something very important. <gasps> or it's become very important. You know what that is? Is it our initial reactions? No. no. Damn it. No. Guess that guess. grump. Yes, you always skip, skip that. It. You always skip my favorite part. Yeah, because it's your um, favorite. I thought yours was the rating. Uh. Just because I'm going to keep on trucking. For those who, again, are not initiated to the Nerd On tribe, the grump section. Guess that grump. When there is something that uh, we can rate, and it's on a scale of one to five, we will rate it. Some things we don't. But we don't have to talk about that right now because we're going to rate this. <laughs> and guess that grump. The grump is whoever gives it the lowest score. So me, I tend to give things pretty high. Yeah. Yeah. And so I might I might give something a 4.8. And Caitlin, who pretty much likes everything. I like the thing. She might give it a five. Yeah, I probably will. I am still the grump doesn't, at 4.8. Doesn't have to be a low rating, y'all. It yeah. just has to be the lowest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I've been the grump at 4.5. Yeah. 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 Um very possible. So yeah, we are going to guess that that Right a stay. For those of uh, for those of us, for those of you who are longtime listeners and you happen to be a composer, if you would like to compose a guess that grump theme song, save us. Let's just say we're or open. You can just let me and Tom keep doing it. <laughs> One, two, three, <laughs> in blackest <laughs> night <laughs> and a DC. <laughs> Guess yeah. So, Josh, who is your uh, choice for who is going to beat the grump? The the the, the grump. Um, the grump lantern. Please. I have five people to choose from, and I think I'm gonna give it. I think you have four people to choose from. I could. You can't choose, choose yourself. yourself. Oh dang it! Yeah. It's... Argument one. <laughs> 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 uh, I think I'm gonna give it to Caitlin. Okay. You can have it. This All is right, my th vote. Thank thank you for this. You're welcome, Caitlin. Who would you guess? Ali. Wow. Wow, that's, that's so quick. quick. Ollie? Like, Ollie has no. become the C on the Scantron. <laughs> yeah. It used to be C Tom. C on the Scantron. Yeah. Ollie, Ollie, Oxlar, please. The uh, thing is, I'm, I'm the most grumpy about things. Thank you. I tried. You didn't yeah. like, good. Fine. You, good. like, no matter, like, how good it is or how bad it is, you tend to just, like, rate things a little bit lower. She got steamrolled. I thought about that. Like, maybe. I can, yeah. I can ream For, on I something. I can tell. You put so much time into that. The whole drive over here, I was laughing to myself. I was, like, so proud that I thought of this name for Ollie, Ollie, Oxenfree. And I was, like, they're going to love it. And then they both... Only Steam I caught it. it. Yeah. Did oh, none of y'all hear say? it? Really? No, no, it's okay. We it's, were having a conversation too. It's Don't gone now. It. You weren't. We were. <laughs> you cut me off as I was saying it. <laughs> <laughs> but that's fine. Oh, poor baby. No, I'm sad. I wanted it's to done. hear it. With you'll the hear well. it. You'll hear it. I'll say it again later. One I guess day. you'll have okay. to uh, listen to the episode. In private. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking yeah, of which, you can listen to. free on Apple Podcasts. Woo! So, your guest for the grump, Ali. It is going to be Josh. Wow. Wow. I, like I always pick you. Okay. No, you pick Josh well, or Caitlin. Yeah. I yeah, you pick, pick me a lot. 
Uh, Which my Ollie's choice is choice. going to be Ollie. Okay. Corey, right. your choice will be? Also, Ollie, Ollie, Ollie Oxlar, please. <laughs> what did you guess? Oh my God! <laughs> really? <laughs> really, Ollie? <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> it's done. That's oh. Twice now I'm going to Beetlejuice this shit. <laughs> oh, wait, third time. Yeah. Wait, 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 Corey, Corey, Okay. Corey. <gasps> Corey. Yeah. <gasps> what did you say? I said... <laughs> I said Ollie Ollie Oxler fleas, which is the orange lantern in the books, but that's oh. fine. I it's not knew, funny if you have to explain it. I knew it. all the response that Ollie was going to give is, oh. oh. I don't remember oh. that name. I, the oh whole time, God. they only say it 30 times in the book. But Do they? Oh. Yeah. He's, he's, so, he's, he's rat really Satan. <laughs> he's orange rat Satan. I was... Really proud of Wait, that, and I've oh, yeah. played it. Yeah, that, I, I heard it this time. Yeah, My was like, still Ali then. <laughs> uh, so that makes three votes on Ali, one on Josh. Um, There's th you voted for me too. Yeah, yeah. And then that's it, right? What was yeah. that means four on J on Ali, and then one on Josh. Yeah, yeah. No, and one for Caitlin. Caitlin. Oh, one for Caitlin. So three. Oh, that's yeah. three. So Corey three, and one, I one. will reveal our rating first. Mm -hmm. Yes. So. Initial reactions. Now initial reactions, Corey. I'll go first because you keep steamrolling my part. Go ahead. Uh, I want to go right into favorite parts and skip this part as well. Uh, no, initial reactions. This was actually handed to me as a trade. I traded my flashpoint for oh. to receive these uh, temporarily. To temporary trade, and I've had them ever since. I think he still has my flashpoint. So sorry, Kyle. He listens to the show. Mm -hmm. uh, these are his books that we all borrowed. <laughs> oh, nice. Thanks, Kyle. Um, I've done a lot of stuff for them. But Kyle. I before this, I hadn't read a, like a lot of Green Lantern. Like I, it wasn't yeah. my first pick. If you lined them all up in a line, all the Justice League, he was probably close to last. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I'm not as interested in this. It's too yeah. much space. I want yeah. more Earth. Because uh, you have things fair. like Batman and Flash and Wonder Woman that exactly. I was always drawn more towards. So when he brought this along, this is his favorite because it's Kyle. You want things a little bit more down to Earth? Yep. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, he, he, he was like, this guy's name is Kyle. So you know he's dope. Uh, <laughs> and so I was like, all right, let me give it a shot. And I was in the minute the the rings showed up, all the rings, because I knew enough about about them. He's got a green ring and it makes objects and he hits people with them. Yep. I knew enough about all the other rings to know that when they all come to one person, that's not a normal thing. Uh, and as this series goes on, if we if we dare cover the rest of it, uh, it gets very, very deep and interesting. Um, but I, I from when I read it, I, I am now a Green Lantern fan. Specifically, Kyle Rayner has jumped to the top of my list. Oh, wow. Interesting. Wow. Tom snickering to himself. It's just funny. We're allowed to have favorites. No, no, Tom. No, 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 no. I'm not. I'm not saying it's bad because the thing is, this is your first Green Lantern. Yeah. Right. Most people know Alan Scott or Hal, Hal Jordan, Jordan or, or John, John Stewart. Stewart or even Guy. I Gardner. grew up with John Stewart on Justice League. And Justice League, the cartoon Bruce yeah, Tim. So he's the fourth one. He is the fourth. Yeah. Oh, wow. Technically, in the Green Lantern Corps, because Alan Scott's like mystical whatever. for Earth. Oh. Yeah. Um, but like, <laughs> no, you're right. Yeah. 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 Okay. The, the, the DCs. He's the fourth DC Green Lantern. Oh, okay. Fifth. Mm. Oh, yeah. But, like, Whoa. the funny thing is, like, old school purist Green Lantern fans are like, fuck Kyle, blah, blah, Hal Jordan, Guy Gardner. It's like, okay. Like, Kyle is the most shitted on. Yeah. For, like, a lot of things. Because he's the young, hopeful one. He's pretty much the Nightwing of Green Lantern. I love the little thing that sold me on him is that he designed his own suit because he's oh. an artist. He's a, he's a yeah, artist. And yeah. I loved that. Um, yeah. Little, he, little, just a little, like, uh, <laughs> I, I like him a lot. And then a lot of people allude him to Emerald Twilight, which is a story where Hal Jordan became evil, so no one likes that story. Yeah. So everyone doesn't like Kyle Rayner, which is fucking stupid. I like the Nightwing reference. Yeah, but um, going into... Uh, that's a lot of history and all that shit, and we'll go into that later. But my initial reaction of it... Um, I've been a long-time Green Lantern fan. Uh, John Stewart, Phil Lamar. Shout out. All day. Uh, he was my introduction to it, and then later on, uh, reading Hush. Remember the flashback between Tommy yeah. Elliot? And, yeah, he was that's Green fucking lantern it's alan scott the original one and then they changed that shit up with those two anyways um <laughs> but hal jordan i fucking love hal jordan i love you know the 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 lantern oath i love the idea of the emotional spectrum like it's funny when you said like i like things more down earth like dc in its entirety is more down earth quote unquote to marvel yeah mm -hmm. like 100%. the fact that there's a multiverse is whatever but like marvel's like universe landscape or cosmic landscape is much more fleshed out comparatively to yeah. this. And this is what new 52 was trying to do. They are trying to make the, uh, more, more cores. They were trying to make other alien life forms that deal with certain things or like the reach mm. and all these like things that happen. Well, I think what I meant by that is that, and I've 
we both I've said this on here before, and I think I've I've uh, referenced this quote before, where it's like Marvel is uh, like humans learning how to be gods, and it's gods learning how to be humans. So when I read DC, I like the interaction of these people trying to fit into to more of like Superman trying to do his day to day shit, and Wonder Woman trying to fit into society and stuff like that, and find their place. And I think when I go to DC, that's what I'm looking for more of. Yeah. Um. So that's kind of what I meant by down to earth, because absolutely Marvel is insane and I mean, the cool, know, Guardians the, of the Galaxy and shit. The cool like that. charming thing that I think you know you might stumble upon is the fact that like the Marvel thing that you love about it is pretty much what the Green Lantern's all about. It's all these humans in space. Yeah. And it's all them trying to figure out like space code and sector blah 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 and that and all the prophecy bullshit. It's like I'm just a dude who likes donuts and drawing shit. <laughs> you know. Or it's like I'm just a dude who wanted to fly planes because my dad died in a plane crash and for some reason I didn't get traumatized. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that's my initial reaction. I, I, I liked uh, New Guardians a lot. Um, and, you know, to me, this was a, a great... Because this all started with New 52 and Jeff Johns, like, I'm going to fucking expand the DC universe and consolidate into a great place. So I thought this was super fun. Uh, our, uh, I love Arkillo. I love all the different... Mm-hmm. The, the lieutenants of all the, the cores. Yeah. Uh, you know, you don't see Carol Ferris as Star Sapphire. So it's like, it's really, really cool. At least in these two volumes. Yeah. I'll go. Go ahead. Um, until this time, I have read absolutely nothing when it comes to Green Lantern. So <gasps> I had no mm-hmm. reference point except a bad movie. But um, mm-hmm. oof, the, oh. the the flashback with uh, Tommy Elliot. And- <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay, I had a <laughs> <One> cell <page>. <laughs> <laughs> reference yeah. of Green Lantern. Um, I was hooked. Oh, page one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, what is he talking about? Yeah. That one page in Hush. Yeah. Got it. One. Uh, and I think it was only one page. Oh, they're in the one. background. Yeah. It's mostly on Bruce. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like, a, it's a, it's hardly <laughs> it's a even that. It's a flyby. It's like yeah. a, yeah. Um, what the fuck was that? The bird? Yeah. I was absolutely hooked first page. Oh. Wow. Like, I, I really, and I just kept reading. Like, this is one of those things that I read it multiple times, or these, both of these volumes multiple times because I read them so fast the first time. Because I was like, I need more. It gives me more. There's more. Oh, there's no more oh. at the end of this. And so I have to, of course, read more. Mm-hmm. But how many times can I say read more in one sentence? More. A lot. More. Um, Roger Moore. So I. <laughs> Dudley Moore. I loved everything about it. I loved the story. I loved the design of it. The colors to me, I was like. Oh, oh, damn. I will say Sweetie. that mm-hmm. when it comes to Green Lantern, anything, the colors are fucking phenomenal. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, just kind of looking into New 52 a little bit more and just seeing the design, I, I dig. Uh, it's it's very interesting to see like maybe comics from even like early 2000s to what comic books are now. And for somebody who like me, I read The Walking Dead. Like that's something that I'm subscribed to and I read it and that's black and white. Yeah. And it's like and it's. And so oh yeah, that's com- a big change. Yeah, and even like comparing it to Spawn, Spawn's mm. it's it, it's it's Cosmic just fun. Film. It's so bright and like colorful, and I like it. <laughs> There's so many green eyes. Yeah. So, Caitlin, this was an interesting story to read. Um, she hated it. <laughs> I I didn't hate it. I I didn't. I liked the thing. Okay. But I don't have a lot of context for the comic book world. Mm -hmm. And there were some things in this that seemed completely irrelevant Mm -hmm. to the Mm storyline. And and I know we'll touch on that later on. Um, Yes. Yep. But my brain tried to make a lot of parallels for this, which actually made it far more entertaining. Okay. Um, But the story was good. And I was really sad when there wasn't more. Mm. Oh, I really, what I does have more when I, Oh yeah. You are there. No, you don't. I do. How much more? Oh, Tom has it. Wait, 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 wait. So very important question right now. How much more? Okay, hold on. There's that, a that's an existential question. What? Well, well also, what does that mean? Th- this goes into the information about it, but this yeah. is a run that lasted from for four years. Oh, and there's monthly comic books, well, and each one volume is six comic books. So there's like forty four comics. Yeah. So there's like each one of these volumes. you read. This is essentially twelve that we're covering today. <gasps> Oh my god! <laughs> this arc does this <laughs> arc though. It's one go. arc. It's yeah. one full arc, but then the new Guardians arc continues. Yeah. And so like you'll see, it's like I'll talk about it. Later. Is it yeah. is it more of them though? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Just so we're aware. Yeah. I'm in. Okay. Okay. So you I like I like the comic. Ollie Ollie Oxlar fleas. Uh, there it is. <laughs> 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 oh, 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 oh. 
<laughs> <laughs> what a joke. <laughs> uh, Corey's not okay it's right really now. Funny if you're crying. Oh, He's crying. And he passed out. Uh, so my level of, ex- of experience is actually the same exact as Josh's. Yeah. Um, the only DC comics that I've read have been Batman. Um, and then a lot of Marvel. Mm-hmm. Um, I need that. Don't take my cough drop. There's nothing in there. <laughs> <laughs> nothing in there. It was just a wrap right took out of Ollie's oh. pocket. <laughs> Poor sad Ollie. He's, Ollie, Ollie's he's, he's, uh, he's, he's got a little cold right well, now. I'm like, don't, I need that really badly. <laughs> don't take it from me. Uh, but anyways, um, so yeah, like like haven't seen haven't read a lot of or any DC comics like whatsoever. Yeah. You know, um except for Batman. Um and Flashpoint. And the only real and Flashpoint and the only real context I have for Green Lantern is the movie, unfortunately. Whoopsies. Um yeah. <laughs> but Shout out to Deadpool. I mean uh, uh, <laughs> Yeah, right, exactly. Aww. Uh and um this book is is gorgeous. Like I, I I'm constantly blown away with like what they're able to put on paper. And like the writing is, it was actually clever, and like it was witty when it needed to be. It was, it was, it was a, it was fun to read. Um, ultimately, this is the, this is this is the <laughs> number one perfect example of something that I can point to. Anytime I need to explain somebody why I don't read a lot of comics. Oh, because there was so much that you don't know. Because there was so much that I didn't know. Yeah. It ultimately gave me a very frustrating reading experience, and I'll ask you. Later, maybe, uh, but like, was this supposed to be an introduction to Gl- Green Lantern? No. So why is it issue one? Be- of I'll this, I'll explain it. I'll explain, of it. I'll the, explain yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. But that that's basically of this my- arc. It's issue one of this arc. I feel like that's okay. one of those things that's why people who aren't into comic books have a hard time getting into comic books because where that's the fuck I mean. do you start? Because it's like yeah, it's Josh scary. mentions that actually a lot during our our older comic book episodes. Yeah. Because the problem is when you see something that says number one, mm-hmm. you like, think that's oh, a like, jumping This is a point. safe space. No, yeah. um, no, it's, it's number one of this yes, art right. series. Um, I think actually- if But you I'm look, with you on that. It gets confusing because sometimes I'll look into stuff and I'll be like, oh, wait, I have yeah. to read uh, these three first before mm-hmm. I can jump to that one. Got it. I know Josh and Ollie read it digitally, but I don't know if it has the, the, like, the cover flap. Because the cover flap, it has tells pretty you, much. If you, it does, I it think. does. It pretty much has everything. Because, because Marvel, I mean, comic books do this really well. But Marvel does it where, like, in the beginning, they show like all the pictures of like these are all the characters, and these are what you need to know about the characters in the story. Hmm. This mm. one will just tell you like, like these. No, before that, it says like this is Kyle Rayner. He's blah 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 blah. Oh. This is what's happening. Da 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 da. They kind of did that with Civil War. Marvel yeah. did that and where was, there's like, okay, here's where here's who is going to be in this story. And mm-hmm. I knew that because. After I had read like the first issue, quote unquote, inside the volume, mm-hmm. I had to go back and like spend a lot of time figuring out that he didn't just get his powers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like because it showed him getting his powers. Yeah. This is actually a and while then it cut after. back and cut back to him, and then like I was like, okay, so he just got like to me in my head, I was like. Okay, so he just got his powers, uh, and and like and as soon as he got his powers, these other rings came to him because of some reason. For uh, some, yeah. like, actually, what I, I thought that, because of some problem too. of him being the new Green Lantern, Got these it. rings came to him, uh, and I was like, "Wait, I save this I, for qualms?" But yeah, anyways, in a, in, <laughs> let me let me qualms. let me talk about the brief it's already bubbling out of him. Brief <laughs> history, brief history, and synopsis of the story. So let's see the brief history a little bit first, yeah. just so we can figure out where everything is. So a long time ago, when DC first came out, there was Superman, Batman, blah blah blah. But then science fiction started coming into it. And then all of a sudden they started making multiple universes. And it's got really fucking convoluted. They ended up buying Shazam. All this other shit happened. So it was like, where do all these comic books lie? Like they fucked up like Wonder Woman and like she was young Wonder Girl. All these things. And so they created this thing called a crisis. And they just merged all the universes into one thing. And then Sounds after, like the experience they were having trying to figure it out. Uh, <laughs> well, I mean, that's pretty much what happened. Like no one could figure out what, what storylines to follow. Yeah. And so they were like, do I re- read Titans or reset read button, Justice League essentially. and all that stuff. But like they'll have these crossover events that will just like, hey, this is how we're going to consolidate all these things. Around like early 2000s and like late 1990s, like they started like, okay, we're going to have this crisis that's going to just explain that there is a multiverse, how it works and how everything works, uh, how everything works within it. But then Jeff Johns came around and he best known for creating Stargirl and is also now the DC chief executive officer or whatever. Um, he did Green Lantern Rebirth. And what ended happening was that Around the 90s and 80s, DC got really dark. Superman fucking died. Dark Knight Returns. Uh, all this shit happened. Uh, Cyborg Superman. Back when there was dis- Mullet Man. Uh, Cyborg Superman destroyed Coast City, which is Hal Jordan City. He became fucking evil. 
And then Kyle Rayner came out. Ganthit, who was like, we have to create the Blue Lanterns. And he's also like, we have to make sure that the Blackest Night, the prophecy, which in which is in the Lantern Oath, never comes to fruition. But it does. Um, he handpicks Kyle Rayner, which has never happened. Because mm-hmm. you have to be chosen by the ring. But Ganthit was like, I choose you. But quick quick aside, mm-hmm. wasn't Hal Jordan, didn't, wasn't he just like there at the right time to where the other Lantern was dying and he mm-hmm. took it? And that's it. Because there is theory that like if Hal Jordan wasn't there, it would have actually went to Guy Gardner. Hmm. And then there's other theory that if Guy Gardner wasn't there, it would actually went on to John Stewart. Okay. And so it's whoever is the most worthy for the X, the whatever ring. Mm-hmm. But Kyle Rayner comes in and he becomes fucking embodiment of will, Ion, which is inside the fucking thing. And now we have a fourth it, fucking Green it, Lantern inside the fucking thing inside the the, the Green Lantern core. Yeah. So you know, on oh. the blue, they had the blue core inside of every single Green, every single Lantern, there is an embodiment of that emotion. Oh, so, okay. so there's fear, there's anger, Rage, and all that stuff. So will. where all these come from? Hope. Uh, they are beings of the cosmos. Oh, like these are constants. Emotions are the constants of the universe, and these are the physical embodiments of it. Of emotion. And these lanterns get to utilize that power within. It's so the emotional. Core. Yeah. So the lantern, <laughs> the giant lantern, like not the small thing? one, not the small one, the yeah. a giant, the one. big one. Yes. That's, That's like essentially like the, the living embodiment of will. That's or the their living house. embodiment of hope. The living embodiment of love. Yeah. Living embodiment of rage. That's but I'm saying, like, wasn't, at one point, wasn't it just a green one? Uh, at first. And this is what Jeff Johns did. Yeah. Jeff Johns did with Rebirth. He called it Green Lantern Rebirth. And he started... That's This is where Sinestro came from. This yeah. is where, like, the birth of, like, so Sinestro being part of the Green Lantern Corps into all that. Like, the this is very recent. And then, and then becoming... Yeah. He how, found the Weaponer. He found Cord. He found the the Fear. Yeah. How recent? Like, last 30 years. Okay. okay. And so, like, not in, like, the 70s or 60s, but, like, in the 1990s. Oh. So wow. he... Like, I'm going to have to just look this up later. But, so he made... All like, the where one. did the yellow one come from? He found it. He found, like, the... the, the, the so they all exist? Here. They all exist. Okay. And so, like, uh, Atrocitus, like, after the, the Guardians fucked his home planet up or failed to save his planet, he was so, like, fueled with rage that the rage found him. And then he became the founder the of the Red Lanterns. Got it. And these are all, like, again, Jeff Johns trying to do what uh, Jim Starlin did with Infinity. It was, like, making the way of, like, this is how the universe works. And so the powers that be in the universe of DC are governed by the emotional spectrum, um, which ended up leading into, like, Crisis, which Darkseid comes in, and then it just tells, like, hey, there's 52 other universes. And then that's where this comes up. So it's, like, years later that, like, we've had Kyle Rayner, we've had Guy Gardner, all these Green Lanterns. And, and then this story comes up. And Hal Jordan's now a good guy, but he still walks, like, a path of redemption. Yeah. Hmm. Um but yeah, so there's a lot of kind of like a little bit backstory, but then this kind of like sets a good foot of what this is. Now, to answer your question before of like, is this his first issue? No. But the thing is, with Hal Jordan, John Stewart, Guy Gardner, and Kyle Rayner, they can't have individual issues, right? Like a publisher could only make like one Hal Jordan comic book, and then the rest go into Green Lantern Corps, which show the rest of the Lanterns. And then there's the new Guardians, because they want to have writers create new characters. Yeah. Right. There's already two new Earth Green Lanterns as is right now. And oh. uh, Jessica Cruz and Simon Boz. Mm-hmm. So how many Green Lanterns are there on Earth, quote-unquote, right now? Too many. A bunch. Okay. There's like at least If seven. I were to describe it accurately, a dis- direct number, it would be a bunch. Oh, nice. <laughs> okay, that gives me a lot of comics. That's really Thank specific. Thank you. Thank and, you so, and, and to talk about that a little bit more, think of it like uh, Superman comics and then action comics. Yeah. Action comics will have Supergirl, Superboy, Crypto, but then Superman are only about Superman stories. Yeah. Batman or, det- or Batman comics. Detective comics are about Nightwing. Robin, Batman. the Bat Family. Yes, yeah. So that's how they're able to consolidate these worlds. They could have a Wolverine comic, or then there's X Men, things like that. And okay. so, and that something like what uh, Caitlin brought up before we talked about in this episode was that like Blue Beetles in there, and yeah. it's like there's this weird random moment in there is because the writer Tony Bedard um, was writing Blue Beetle at the same time. Oh, and so, it was way to, like, so he's, cross. he was giving out a little shout out to his. Oh, own. Exactly, yeah, it's, they're writing. basically cross promotion. Yeah, okay. It's like, hey, you should check out this other guy. Um, Some cool shit going on. I didn't even know he was. Blue Beetle? Yeah. I It doesn't say that anywhere. I believe it does. It says Blue Beetle. It usually just says, like, there's Blue Beetle. Oh. I, 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 I spent a lot of time trying to figure out who that character was, and I couldn't find it. Mm. <laughs> um, I'm going to make this brief synopsis, very brief, of the actual story that we're talking about today. Kyle Rayner comes out of a bar and finds that all these uh, other rings, uh, purple, red, yellow, 
um, blue all uh, attach themselves onto him. And one lantern should only have one ring. So these weakened lanterns all got decommissioned and died in space and then went into Kyle Rayner. Uh, all of a sudden, the other lanterns of the other cores were like, what the fuck? Our, our lantern friends are dying, so we're going to go kill Kyle Rayner. He escapes with St. Walker to Oa, which is the Guardians and also Green Lantern headquarters. The Guardians are like, dude, you have all those rings. That's bad. And they start attacking him as well. Green Lantern Kyle Rayner, a.k.a. White Lantern, is able to fend them all off until he escapes with St. Walker with Lef- Larflees to the Larflees planet. Uh, Larflees says, um, the, all the rings are are attaching to you because of something that happens over on this Vegas system. Go check that out. Now, rest of Kyle Rayner and these lieutenants of these other rings start going over there. They meet Invictus, which is an archangel. And archangel then uh, says like, hey, you've been working with the beast. I want to kill the beast. Who's the beast? AKA Larflees. So they figure out that this was all set up so that they can do Larflees' dirty work. And, and collect him an angel. Yeah. And this archangel is like super powerful. They can't handle him at all. He's probably the power of like, half a lantern core. And as we know, Larflees is one man core. And so he has the entire power of the avarice, orange jealousy greed. or greed um ring all to himself. Yeah. And all of his lantern constructs are just people he's killed. Well, um which he, is, he, he absorbs powerful. their essence into their an ring. Army of and spite. He's just like, he, now you're an orange lantern, bitch. He everyone is afraid yeah. of him. Like everyone should be afraid of him. Like Superman should be afraid of him. Dark side should be afraid of him. Um wow. And shout out to Kyle Robinson. Is that yeah? It's Kyle's favorite. That, mm-hmm. That's not explain that he it. has the only. Yeah, he has the whole explains it in here too. Oh, Here's, uh, uh, it says Blue Beetle. Things things this, just happen really this, quickly in this comic. Here. So like a couple times. E- even even if you're like rereading things, it's kind of hard to pick apart stuff sometimes because um, it's happening very so quickly. So they make a deal with Invictus Archangel, saying like, "Hey, if you let us live, we'll go fight Larflees." And he's like, "Okay, cool." They end up having to go all disport- disperse to go get recharge their power rings. Then they end up on uh, Kyle Rayner and Bleez, the Red Lantern, as well as Glomulos, whatever. Glommy. Or- Glommy. Glommy. I, I just I loved love Glommy. Glommy. Uh, find themselves on Earth. The Orange and then- Construct. Um, the Blue Beetle ends up uh, help- helping them because they get attacked by a bounty hunter. And then Blue Beetle gives them plot information number one, which is like, hey, St. Walker, your planet is being attacked by people who have the Reach. And the Reach are these techno-organic life forms. Bugs. That, um, bugs. Scarabs. Uh, that Scary take bugs. over planets. They're conquesters. Uh, and then they're like, okay, let's recharge our batteries and then go to this planet. The entire planet of the Blue Lanterns is lost. That power uh, ring is lost. And uh, they they go to Larflees and then he says, I didn't have anything to do with it. That's not on me. And uh, Invictus comes and all this while they start fighting because that's what people do in comic books and they destroy Invictus's power source which is his so- solar system like pl- uh, vessel his um, science project yes and they find out well, this whole gets hijacked pl- yes they found out this whole plot for all these rings and all this unity of all these lanterns together was from Sade who is Ganthet's partner of the Guardians of Oa so that um, this evil won't happen this blackest night uh, everyone's pissed They're off. The Guardians of the Galaxy, you would say? No, no, I would not. <laughs> um, everyone's pissed, and they all disperse, and that's the end. Yeah, brief. Mm-hmm. That was really brief. That well done. Brief. Uh, so yeah, there's a lot to be said. There's a lot of history between Ganthet and Say. There's a lot of history between the different Lantern Corps. This is like literally the the next step of establishing all the Lantern Corps, and so like. Yeah, it's, it's a vital step. Yeah, I would I would tell a lot of people like if you're interested in getting into Green Lantern, like this will give you like a, a crash course of like how all the Lantern powers work and what characters you could find pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, because uh, they have standout characters from each core there. Which yeah, kind of cool. Because Invictus is cool, but I mean he's kind of like a whatever character. Yeah, but he's, <laughs> he's just there to showcase exactly all the Lanterns. This is this together. is this is very much the origin story of a team. Yeah, this is like that's like pretty much Ronan the Accuser. Yeah, the Lee Pace, fellowship. Shout out. I would argue that you would need a little bit more knowledge. I mean, like, to me, this felt very Gardens of the Galaxy-ish, actually, mm-hmm. in a weird way that Corey was saying. Like, that you don't get a lot of, like, origin stories for a lot of characters. You get literally, like, hey, my mom has cancer, and then I'm getting abducted. Hey, I got this Green Lantern ring, and then all of a sudden this shit happens. So it was, like, very similar in that sense. They hey, had a, I used like, to be a green, uh, Lantern Hunter, and now I'm love, compassion, redemption. They, they felt like Guardians of the Galaxy group. Going on a fellowship mission against, there's rings? against flamey winged Thanos. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Um, and then it was like emotional Captain Planet. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, Do you remember when he gets all the rings? Yeah. Can you write this down? This would be a great movie. <laughs> like, <laughs> and then they're Captain like Planet. working with emotionless blue people group. 
Not I, really. I don't, not supposed to be. Yeah, I know. And that also confused me. So, like, who who somehow have power over the Force? Because, like, Sade... Walker, uh, Sade. Sade. The, the woman is the, guardian. Yeah. yeah. So, I also thought that the Guardians were, like, all dudes. So, I got kind of yeah. confused when it was, like, your girlfriend. It was like, oh, there's, oh, there's multiple... Yeah. Okay. And Genders. Then, and then they got rid of the emotions for Ganthet. Because okay. they lobotomized him, so, which is yeah. weird. Because it's like, why? He's going to tell you. Okay, so, so please, the guardian. So think of it like Professor X from X Men. Okay, like he's supposed to be like all knowing, nice, and all that shit. But as you keep reading, you realize how duplicitous they really are and how fucked up they really are. Yeah, like they'll do some shit because it's for the better of the universe. Like for the, the reason game. why like the reason why right. Atrocitus hates the Green Lanterns is because the Guardians made these things called the Man Hunters. And they were like the first police force of the universe. And then they would be robots. They would just kill or not kill. You're breaking the law or you're not breaking the law. And they no killed great. an entire planet. Oh. Yeah. And so Atrocitus is like, this is because of the, the Guardians, so I'm going to kill the Guardians. What? Where do they fall into, I guess, the power hierarchy for the Lanterns? Uh, guardians or... Yeah. The Guardians... I mean, the Guardians are the ones that literally... Are like the 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 rulers of Oa. They're like you lantern of this. Like they're like the police. Chiefs. It's exactly like power level should be like Professor X to the X Men. Yeah. Oa is what? Okay. They're like so the, they're like the police. That's the Green Lantern. They're the overseers planet. for the lanterns. Oh. Yeah, the Green Lanterns. D- are they like? But they also have telepath, tele- telepathy, and you know telekinesis. So, so they're they super OP. They're, but like, so are they? Because you said the 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 lanterns are like the embodiments of these emotions, and yeah. they have names like Ion is green. Ion is uh, a mantle that a mantle. one person who's like I'm the most will powerful, which Kyle okay. has at this moment. Okay, um, In time. but like so, there's Kyle Rayner, there's Kilowog, there's Tomar Ray. These are all different aliens and stuff like that. Right, but think of it like mo- mo- like police, and okay. they all have they're all charged by willpower. And if you think about like yellow lanterns, if they're not bad guys, they're also police, but they're powered Charged by, by fear. fear. Okay. That makes sense. When a lantern, uh, a, a, a ring comes onto you, they say, Caitlin, you have the ability to incite great fear into others. You have Hell been yeah, inducted into the yellow lantern core. Sinestro core. Sinestro core. Yeah. Or well, like if you like, you have the ability to <laughs> inspire hope within you. Corey, you are now part of the Blue Lantern Corps. Blue Lantern Corps. Nothing, uh, nothing uh, instills fear with like somebody going bah, rah, <laughs> rah. Rah. So yeah, there's okay. a, there's a lot, and I mean like during this time, right before Sinestro is having a civil war within the yellow of uh, the Sinestro Corps yeah. too. So it's a big deal that Kyle fought them, like like his power level, power level. Yeah. Well, okay. So back back to the point that I was saying was like, Sade was the one that gave all the rings to Kyle. In a sense, In yeah. a sense, because it was like she heard Ganthet's one cry in the universe and was she like... She wanted that shit. Bah! And then just gave all the rings to Kyle. Well, to, in order to bring a team together. To, okay. Yeah. That's where I got a little lost because I was like, this doesn't happen. This is so crazy. And just like, you're a slave of someone else, but you have enough power. She's not She's really not a slave. slave. She was playing Larflees. Right. You're right. You're right. I forgot about that. She was but playing like, him the whole time. So I guess to me it was like so the power of love makes rings go to people. Why did they need? To, why not did, necessarily. Why not just summon everybody to be a team? It's comic logic. Yeah, that's what they were like. Why did you they just tell us? They what was the comic it. logic? Well, the fact that they all need to learn how to work together and they need to be brought in together to stop being X, forced y, into Z. a situation rather exactly. than being asked, being asked to do asked. it because uh-huh. they at any time they would have otherwise bounced if they didn't think that the, it's fate of the like, galaxy was at stake. I, I think I think that was the issue that I had. One of the big issues was like, why are they all at each other's throat immediately? Because that's um, what people like. If they're all lanterns, they like because they're all different oh, cores and they don't trust so each other. D- so normally, yeah, lanterns don't fuck with other lanterns. Like, yeah. I am my Green Lantern core. We don't like make literally the peace planet of the people. Green Lanterns. You're no other lantern is allowed to go there. Hmm. Even the blue ones, which are supposedly their friends. yeah, it said that. Yeah, that's why I had to wait in space. Yeah, so like that, they usually like are very segregated. But, why, but the but the guardians live on the green planet. The guardians. They're, the guardians are only the guardians to the Green Lanterns. Like oh. they, they know of the emotional spectrum. They can control certain aspects of things, but like they are pretty much only think that the Green Lanterns are like good. The, the good. Everything does, else is shit. Oh, wow. Does each core have its own guardians? Yeah. No. no, no just the no? green ones. Just the green ones. No. Oh. And then there's so like the Yellow Lantern. There, basically, their savior was Sinestro. 
Like that's who they looked up to oh. as their lord and savior. Think of it like, as, as it were, in a weird way. Guardian. The Red Lantern, it is uh, Atrocitus. Atrocitus, the guy who like shoves bleeds into the river of blood, essentially. That's their guardian or okay. leader. Think, think of it actually in a weird way. Green Lanterns are like democracy. You know, there's a okay. fucking board and committee and not everyone else is just one leader. And then in Sinestro's core, there's a lot of fucking civil war in it. Like Arkillo becomes like one of the people who like goes against Sinestro. He's yeah. like, this is my core. Okay. And oh. the Arkillo core. And then Sinestro's daughter goes into the Green Lantern core. And it's like, what? Wow. Oh, and she falls in love with so much information. That's way yeah. too much. There's already <laughs> anyway, so much so information no, there are, here. Their own guardians are only green. Okay. Guardians okay. are only green. Which they is don't... why most of the power you see them shooting out those like beads are green. They're oh, it's willpower. Oh, okay. Okay. So green they view willpower as the most yeah. powerful. You want to go? You know the colors. Uh, I do. And I'm gonna, I have them here as a cheat sheet too. But uh, red is rage, yellow is fear, blue is hope, uh, indigo is compassion, violet is love, orange is greed, and then green is willpower. But then, here's some new shit, guys. 2018, thanks to fucking Jeff Johns and Scott Snyder, there is an invisible fucking spectrum of We're not going to talk about that tonight, though. <laughs> oh, my God. Too much, Later Tom, on in between this, much. though, you find out about the, the White Lantern Corps and the Black Lantern Corps as yes. well. Oh, my God. Which is life and death. That's a lot. No. Yeah. Kyle becomes space Hard pass right now. Um, but, yeah, those are the, the the emotional spectrum of the ones you're this seeing is here. baby's first steps right so now. So, willpower, greed, uh, Welcome rage, to Green Lantern compassion, love, yeah. hope, and fear. Okay. All right. Wow. Favorite parts. I think it's yeah favorite parts and characters. Uh, I have one favorite part most out of out of all, uh, and it's when Kyle and Glommy come crashing in on the ship, and you just hear eep, <laughs> and he's like, "What was that?" And he's like, "He said eep," <laughs> and I was like, "Yeah." Invictus says, "Didn't he?" He scare-? says, "What is that?" Oh, I th- I read that wrong then. What did he say? I thought I thought Glommy was like, or somebody was like, "Oh, he said eep," like Invictus, this big badass. No, Kyle. Said Kyle eep. says it. He said eep. Oh, okay. That guy's all like a battle cry. Like, he said eep. Okay. You motherfucker. <laughs> um, <laughs> you idiot. And I like how like Kyle is very much like, he's he's he, he's an adult, but he mm-hmm. feels very teen-like. Yeah. yeah. And like, but he's still having to be the leader to corral these like, you know, warlords and like soldiers from, you know, galaxies away. Yeah. Um, I would not want his job. No. I like that he liked Glami. I love Glami. Yeah. I liked that Kyle liked I him though. And, and when Glami had... told it, didn't well, quote unquote, told it didn't tell. He just he just Larfleeze knows everything yeah. that his constructs know. Yeah. But he's like, man, I thought you were on our side, dude. And like Glamis when he like, was, I'm a, sorry. He was a disappointed parent, and Glami was like, <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> Dad. Yeah, I'm not mad, but then Glami's I'm disappointed. Yeah, Glami is a cool NPC character. That yeah, calls you around. Oh, <laughs> yeah, poor little baby. Uh, my favorite parts, um, because I have favorite parts. Go ahead. Uh, there are two. Oh, yeah. I have a bunch, but. Oh, okay. No, you you were going. acting like one. I just said that was the one above all. Oh, okay. Got it, that got, was, it got it, got it, that got it. That's a Marvel that, character. But it was okay. the one part to rule them all? Yeah. If okay. I were to, like, every time I read through it, that's just the part that I go, oh, look at that. He said uh, eep. <laughs> <laughs> that's Kyle's, like, big critical moment. <laughs> um, The two parts that are my favorite, uh, both times that I read these, uh, when the rings just take over. Kyle yeah. and you see all and, the and you see all of them on the and he's essentially like what the fuck he's like a <laughs> this Lisa is not Frank what I painting. asked for and then the power takes over him and he's like this is awesome and then he starts like kind of degrading and he's like this is not awesome <laughs> what is happening yeah. too much caffeine too no, much caffeine much power <laughs> this uh, is bad I also loved uh, Saint Walker showing um, what's his name Hope and Sinestra like uh, shows up Arkillo yeah Arkillo <gasps> don't take my favorite up. part. Oh, okay. oh, you Any, well, it's anytime Walker shows hope yeah, to anyone, and they all free. Even Invictus freezes for a second, and he says, "quote unquote," that he has nothing to hope for or whatever. But uh, I think that's just a dope power to have to just yeah. have people be like, oh, "The thing I desire most." Caitlin, um, I also like that he grew Arkillo's tongue back, yeah, mm. and um, that Arkillo is like just about to call him his friend. F- yeah, friend. He's like, he's my. And then gets hit. He's like, I think he's about to call him friend. <laughs> Which seems thing. impossible. But yeah. yeah he no, Kyle even says it to Invictus. He's like, I'm pretty sure he was just about to call him friend. So you, you're doing something. Yeah. Something's happening so here. Miracles happen. Yeah. Yeah. Um, my next favorite part is when Kyle shows up and they're they're in that big battle and whatnot. 
And he's like, when the Green Lantern shows up, that's when our attack ability come, oh, comes on. Oh, yeah. And then he shows up, and they are OP as fuck. Do you know about that? The Blue Lanterns and Green Lanterns? I mean, it kind of... I mean, I don't know the backstory of it. Specifically, you could probably describe it better than I can. So, but and say they went against... Like, so, the, the, the fucking core of Guardians are like, we must keep the peace and blah, blah, blah. Like, And then Ganthin and say, like, yo, fuck that. We got to stop the apocalypse all the time. And then so they made the fucking Blue Lanterns. Mm-hmm. Oh. And then they made them designed with the fact of, like, we're, they're only going to work well with Green Lanterns. And they're yeah. going to be anti-fear and anti-red. And basically, they, they power each other's rings. So they can overpower... Or overcharge a Green Lantern's ring. Like they can go be... from 100% to 2,000%. Oh. Yeah. And to go to like towards like a kind of a bigger picture that, that is kind of how life works. I mean, hope and will power. Hope without mm. will is not very That's strong. Powerful. And yeah. will without hope is uh-huh. kind of. And you get, it, you get it. A, you get it. You got it. it. And, and a little bit about that. So going back a little bit, like they explained before back in the day, Green Lanterns were like, why are you weak against wood and things that are yellow? Yeah. And that was just a thing of their power. They didn't explain it. And then Jeff Johns was like, it's not because they're weak against yellow. It's because inside their core, their, their fucking giant ring or their giant lantern was that parallax, the embodiment of fear, was trapped inside of it. So every one of the Green Lantern Corps had an impurity to yellow. Mm-hmm. So once that was released, then they could start attacking things that were yellow. Mm-hmm. Okay. And so it's like those things where fear kills willpower. And f- fear is like the main antagonist to willpower. They c- wait, oh, pause. They couldn't attack things that were yellow? That was back in the day. That was before he decided to give that was like, credit to it. That was like, and still is, when Superman can't so see through So he couldn't lead. fight like an evil banana? No. No. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> A yeah, banana could have taken over the whole universe. Yeah, and that's no why Jeff Johns is like, we need to fix this shit. Well, <laughs> this is ridiculous. There is an issue, and it's a fucking... American craft cheese! There, there's we're an doomed! Issue, there's an issue, and it's a god-awful fucking issue. It's with fucking Jim Lee and Frank Miller... Wow. And Batman dresses up in all fucking yellow and dresses room in yellow. Yeah. To be an asshole to Green Lantern. I'm like, stop <laughs> fucking up Batman. <laughs> yeah. Because they wow. just made a Batman <laughs> asshole. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but Ali, your favorite parts. Uh, one of my favorite parts was just uh, in the apartment um, where uh, Blue Beetle was talking to. The, the Red Ranger. Oh, the Red Ranger. Red Ranger. <laughs> the Red Lantern. The Red Lantern. Yeah. Um, and is like, so, so are you his girlfriend or whatever? Yeah. <laughs> his girlfriend or what's that She's like about? far from it or whatever yeah. she said. That was no pretty- suit. I am not aroused right now. Yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> that was the- kind of a, it's kind of like a Marvel moment. Inside of yeah. Are you guys movie. dating or? Yeah. yeah. What's the, what's you see, it's you a see DC somebody? What's your status on Facebook? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> is and, it a fish? And, and to, to speak upon that, like that is like the, the gems, like the, he's about to call him friend or blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Like those are moments that are filled in all comic books. Uh-huh. And mm-hmm. like everyone's just like, oh, blah, blah, blah. Like one about one comic, one about it. It's like all of them do that. But those are the moments, like these are the feats of like when they defeat this person, who gives a fuck? But it's like those nice. Just shows their humanity. Exactly. Right? Those nice moments of actual storytelling. Yeah. That. And then um, the other one was the, when he has his rings on at the beginning, um, when he gets all the rings. Because, like, right before it happened, as it was leading up to that, I was like, because this was still kind of my first impression where, like, before I started getting confused about yeah. things. Um, and I was like, oh, you know, it would be awesome if, like, if I were to ever write, like, a, a comic book, I would totally have him, like, have all the rings at his disposal. There and then, like, go. I flip the page. And, you're like, <laughs> and it's, like, happened. <laughs> you're, like, flipping the page as all the other lanterns are losing range. You're like, what the fuck is happening? Decommissioned. Decommissioned. Yeah. Decommissioned. And then you're like, Kyle dreams. Rainer, you've been chosen, chosen, My chosen, dreams. chosen, chosen. You're like. <sighs> and that's, that's, that's kind of the cool thing is, like, again, like, this comic book was meant for uh, an expansion of, like, the universe, but also, like, to introduce you to these new characters and, you know, toys you should buy. But uh, there's probably no toys. But it's, like, also, like. <laughs> Playing with those ideas, like what would happen if someone had all those rings? Would they be able to control yeah. themselves? And then he's like, part oh, of the crap. bling core. He's Which, just got <laughs> the bling core. It did actually bling ring confuse me a little bit that all the emotions are separate and that someone can't handle the entire emotional spectrum. It's the, right. It's kind of like the full faculty of it all. And the thing is, not like Kyle Rayner never has fear, or like the Green Lanterns never feel fear. Right. The, their thing is like you can overcome great fear. And so you have willpower. Well, so, I mean, it's these, pretty much your greatest emotion becomes these. That thing. These powers are like the, the embodiment of that emotion. So it kind of makes sense to me. It's like okay, it's like fear. If you had the embodiment of fear, it's like oh yeah, you can feel fear. But if you felt the embodiment of fear, like so now you're adding all you, of these, you over. all of these emotions. You're feeling the 
embodiment of them. And so All it's of like, them at that the same is time. a lot. I guess it's the same as being like a natural born musician or a natural born painter or something. Like you were just created mm-hmm. a, being more apt to do this, certain yeah. things thing. yeah, for, exactly. for yeah. this certain thing. Like you're just naturally good like, at it. Like, man, you know, I'm going to pose a question. You guys don't know, and this is fun. Who do you think, what, what Lantern Corps do you think Batman would be part of? Ooh. Fear? There's Exactly. It's a yellow lantern. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but then there's a, there's a con. Tom is like, there was one right answer. But then, so you know. Also, what do you think the Flash would be in? The Flash? Hope mm-hmm. blue. He was blue. You know, there was a, those are things like that where like. Fuck each, yeah, he was. <laughs> each character will have their own shtick, right? Yeah. Like, yeah, of course. Hal Jordan has given Batman the ring before. And he said, go ahead and do it. And then Batman was actually able to like conjure up his parents. Aww. And then like, he's like, this is so much power. It's like, how do you do this all the time? It's like, there's a lot of willpower to it. And he mm-hmm. takes it off. And Batman just leaves it alone. Yeah. Wow. This is a lot of heart motion shit in, in Green Lantern comics, I'll just tell you. But um, yeah, like each part is a different spectrum. What's uh, Superman? He's He's been part of the yellow core. Fear? Oh, uh, yeah. And uh, really? Been part- Superman's Su- kind of an asshole. Superman's a little fucking scary. Yeah. He's part of Fear. Uh, and then re- Supergirl was red. Anyways, my favorite part <laughs> um, is I love Arkillo. I love the. Oh, wow. Sinestro Let core. me register my shock. Um, I, I love gl- Glommy. Glommy is great. I think St. Walker, uh, I know Corey's favorite. He's just a little too, like, too, Abe too good. Too hopeful. Too Corey good of a hu- person. Wow. <laughs> and I'm just like, I get he's it. He's just blue. knock someone for being too no, I'm good not, of a person. Wow. I, that's why it's just not like my, those things I'm like, a piece I get of shit. It. Why? I get it. Because he's too good. <laughs> like, Larfleeze is kind of like, him. I mean, not Larfleeze, but uh, Arkill is like, let's go Weaponer. And like, let's fight all these motherfucking people. It's like, how, how did this prototype ring work? I'm like, this guy's a fucking gangster. Like, you know, it's like, it's so cool. And um, I love Blue Beetle and I love the Reach. So um, seeing the scarabs fight and all yeah. this, I'm like, <sighs> yeah, so good. So I liked good. that. Um, I liked that a lot. Yeah, I liked but, seeing Atrocitus for a second. Atrocitus, is great. he's you, awesome. Does that does that bring us to maybe favorite characters? Unless there's more favorite parts we want to go over. I mean, there's a there's I, a lot going on. There's a cacophony of parts that I love. That I really like his like solar system science project. Because oh, the oh, first yeah. moment I saw it, I was like, <laughs> "Oh my god, he works so hard! Good job, little baby." <laughs> <laughs> there you was, hold uh, so many planets. There was this one part with. Uh, I have a problem with that, and I'll go over that in qualms. Oh, okay, oh. okay, mm-hmm. okay. Wow, interesante. I liked the. Um, the comic book interaction he oh. had with uh the armorer or uh, weaponer? the weaponer. Yeah. I really liked that he like gave it up and Acrylo was really pissed at him and mm-hmm. he's like, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. I Wait. did it to survive. And that that's the thing, like all most of like the other planets, like Earth and all this stuff, like other than that, everything's like war torn. Yeah. And so like it makes sense that all these like cores are like raging fighting and versus like other than like the Indigo tribe who have found like peace <laughs> as well as like I thought it was a skinny Thanos with a stick. Jesus. <laughs> kind of. Yeah, purple stuff. I don't know. <laughs> kind of. It looks like it a little bit. Um, I did like that uh, um, when he gets all the rings, I like that they showed him struggle with the different emotions in and out. Like navigating, having every single emotion on the emotional spectrum at once and then getting like angry and then having compassion and then like one of my favorite fear. Part, one then, of my favorite parts is when he's like trying to fly and then he has no juice in his green one. And then he's like, blue, land, blue ring, go, go. And he's just like, I hope we get out of this. It's like, hope, it activated. Oh, it's yeah, like, yeah. Flies through. Like, I like the little moments when he talks to his ring a lot. And he's like, God damn it, just get me someone. And it's like, connected. And he's like, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fair enough. And that's got the, the willpower for it now. And I think that's the thing is that like Sade wanted Kyle Rayner to be the, like, the, the, the knot that tied everyone together. Because he can tap into all the spectrums. Because he's Frodo. I want to know more about the Indigo tribe. There's not actually not a lot about that. Not not, not known a, a lot fascinating about. Fascinating character that they compassion is like feeling for other people, right? Mm-hmm. I feel like so they his power do... is to use other people's emotion, emotion, so he can and have compassion. What they've for... done actually a lot is take people prisoner and then strip what? them of their emotion <gasps> and like pretty much emotionally lobotomize. Wow, them. It happens so, in okay. it's, why, it's why love and compassion they don't mm-hmm. get along. I feel like they could easily do like seven comics. They the thing is they could, but the thing is it would have like a two issue run just to explain what it is. They usually do a zero issue that explains like every single thing, but this is typically how they like expand or show a new thing. Like yeah. in Spider Man, it was first introduced as the end of one run, and Stanley was like, "I'm just gonna slip it in here," and it became the highest selling run. 
Or how it's yeah. in comic book. Yes. So like, a zero issue mm-hmm. is technically number one to explain no. things. Usually they go one through six. And then if they typically want to like, here's fucking a backstory if you wanted it. It literally doesn't do much for the actual story that's being told. It's like bonus features on a DVD. Yeah. They'll just come out oh, with a zero issue. Okay. So it doesn't have a place. It's just like a, here. Here's, it's like, here's, here's the extra thing. shit. Here's here, the making of. Like, issue one, Batman's going to go get Joker. Here's the gag reel. Issue six, Batman got Joker. Issue zero, here's how Batman started. Oh. And it's like, I didn't need that shit, but those are people. Um, but I didn't need that shit. I liked, mm-hmm. I liked yeah. when he was like, that moment, he's like, your ability is to use other people's abilities, right? Get the Blue Lantern and do more hope. And then yeah. they got it on Invictus, and you're like, oh, shit. I just want to know more about that. Like, that's yeah. a cool, and that's an Monk. interesting, yeah. That's an interesting, everyone has their own constructs and all that kind of stuff. But to have one that's just like, it literally doesn't work unless you're around other one. And to mm-hmm. teleport, I guess this is other big thing. Because they hold their uh, lantern in their staff. Their mm-hmm. staff is their yeah. lantern. Which is smart. Uh, Very smart. But like I, a little I, that's outlet. the one that, after reading this, I was like, that's, I really want to know more about that. Like, that's fascinating to me. Interesting. Anyway. I like kind of the... I'm going to put it in air quotes, the introduction to Kyle Rayner, like more mm-hmm. so he has the power. It's years later and he's like helping that, cons- that construction accident. He's building How those typical, big guys right, of a oh, fucking yeah. and he holds, holds them. And then like, he's like landing on the ground and there's this yeah. kid that's like, your suit looks like you're wearing a giant bib. He's like, I'm not <laughs> wearing hockey pads. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that's what good. he said to the kid. That's I mean, good. Yeah. yeah. I'm not wow. wearing a bib. Yeah. yeah, not wearing a bib. I, I I did like the moment where he like meets Ganthet for the first time, and he's like, and he oh, he's "You LeBlanc. can have your powers now, and then you can make stuff." And he makes like a little chibi version of Ganthet, yeah. and he's like, <laughs> "Nice." Yeah, he's like, "I see you already understand." He's yeah, like, ha, ha. Look. <laughs> <laughs> ha, look at what I can do. And that's kind of the thing is like all their powers are limited by their imagination. Mm-hmm. Imagination. Uh, favorite characters. Know. Favorite characters. For sure. Saint Walker. Saint Walker. All day, all day. Just Abe Sapien. You and me. Yeah, hundred percent. Me too. He's the shit, man. Like throughout this whole thing, he's the only one who's like, nah, dog. We got. I this. will say he, he had a really gangster moment when like all the other lanterns were being little fucking bitches, and he was like, like, oh, we're gonna die. He's like, no, we must. And I was like, yeah, yeah you know what? Do it. He's like, we are hope embodied. Like, and then seeing that one kid get decommissioned. When he's like, we can't do this. Decommissioned. Oh. And I was like, oh, that's what you get. Did he die? That's Did he fall get. and die? Probably. He probably died. Oh, yeah. That's really sad. Well, well, in the second, <laughs> if you're the embodiment of hope, the, th- <laughs> the thing is, hey, on a lighter note, like he just would have lost the thing. Too bad he was being attacked. Red Lanterns, if they lose their rage, their ring falls off. Their ring is attached to their heart. And so when they <gasps> yeah. the ring falls off, their heart rips out of their body. Too. Oh my God. Oh, what? wow. <laughs> what yeah. the fuck? That's what? like why that one died. Yeah, like, that's the deal. Like with the he red lantern ring. I don't think he was being attacked or anything. Yeah, they just <laughs> no, it dies. kills him. I'm just not angry wow. anymore. Um, <laughs> but yeah, Saint Walker. <laughs> Saint Walker was the one that the first time I read this years ago, I was like, I'm gonna know more about this guy, and I looked up everything. His pants I just got so hard about him. Yeah. His pants uh, got hard. The blue. Yeah. Lan- I mean, the blue lantern core has become my f- favorite core out of all of them. Mm-hmm. The idea of hope. I like the way they work with the Green Lanterns and the fact that they have like. Like seeing them all get their constructs when, when Kyle shows class. up and just seeing all like the the like constructs of like elephants and tigers and shit like that. The I like DC that they're all animals. Class. Yeah. I love 100%. that the blue lanterns are all like the elephant elephants who's and a tigers baby. and shit like that. So anyway, St. Walker all day, all day. Josh. And then favorite? shout out to Glami. I was uh, on oh, the same one. Same. Uh, like close, like just kind of like a, hey, there you are, Glami. I, I loved, he was just silly. Yeah. He just cracked me up. Monk. And Monk, just because I'm curious about him. That's yeah. about it. Knock. Kayla. Oh. Favorite I character? Don't, Ch- character? don't necessarily have one. But don't. they're not all assholes to each Pick other. Pick one. The, no, it, well, <laughs> that's the thing. I, I don't really have a character in this that I was like, ah, oh, I really like you. I kind of liked all of them in you a like different the way. I like the characters. <laughs> okay. I, I don't really have a character that I, I specifically connected to and was like, Except this Glommy. is the one I like. I mean, this is an ensemble piece. Glommy so is like, he's there. He's the cute Thomas little NPC. So he was, he was all right. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. my answer is I don't really have one. I all like, of them. I like, you I like, like the team unit. I like the unit. You like seeing all the like emotions the like wow. interacting. They've lost themselves as individuals and become one. Yeah. All healthy relationships work. 
Ali Ali cold and sneeze. Wow. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Can you just edit that laugh into the when <laughs> I see the other one? Because <laughs> I didn't remember the character's name. You're gonna have a you're gonna have a <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> <laughs> um it's uh Blees, is that the Blees, red, the the red, red lady? Yeah. Red, red Ranger. Ranger? Yeah. I'll surprise. Red Ranger Angel of Death. Yeah. Um I just liked how she was like how off the rail she was and how rageful Heavy she metal. was. And I liked yeah. her the design of her character was cool. I like that even, one line when she gets her senses back where she's like, We're rage, not uh we're not idiots. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when it suits us, we'll help you out. Uh, um they could also yeah. uh throw up melt like lava blood on people. Yeah. I had an Ugh. issue with her wings, but Ugh. other than that. You don't like demon wings or bat wings? The bone well, no, wings. No, I do. They were just bones. Oh. Are they constructs? Yeah. Bones usually have they're, cartilage. They're powered well, by hands. Well, because they're her. I believe they're her Constru- construct and imagination. Oh. oh, they're not real ring wings. Oh, I had to pick up on that. Mm. Well, there you go. Because they're always red and glowing. I, I don't know much about her beyond this, so I don't know. But what I thought of because they're always like red and glowing like this mm-hmm. is that they all fly on their own. Yeah. But she just decided that. She wants. I want bone wings. Well, I, I'm gonna tell everyone out there who who listen to com- who listen to comics, who read comic books and all that. We all know the only Red Lantern that matters is Dexter. And for those who don't know, it's a fucking cat. <gasps> yes, it's a four. Oh yeah, it's a, it's a it's a it's a not standing it's an upright. Injustice too, right? Yeah. yeah, it's not a standing up cat. It's a quadrupedic pedal pedal cat that was like a physically abused by its owner and then became a Red Lantern. Wow, gangster as fuck. Sounds cool. Um, there was one Red Lantern that, makes that was me think like about Humpty Dumpty. I'm gonna look it up, Ali. Oh, that, that, the, that's what I thought the, the whole time. But now, yeah. if that's the truth, then I'm kind of being like, there's actually like a race of people. Yeah. So like you'll find that in every single core. It's like, is that the same person? Is that the yeah. cousin? He looked like Humpty Dumpty. He was yeah. in the background. I saw him. I was like, oh hey, it's Humpty oh, no, Dumpty. They used to be wings. She used to be this kind of like angel thing, and mm-hmm. then she was overtaken by rage. Oh, so maybe her rage. maybe her powers keep her wings together or something. Yeah, I guess so. Huh. You had a, you were pointing at me. Kate. So I'm like, I, I get you, comic book. You look cool with the bone wings, but bone needs stuff to fly to keep it together. Yeah, we're also talking about people who Cartilage shoot lights out of their fingers, muscles, and that's fair. We're, that's fair. We're wangs. light constructs. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. need wangs to fly. One of the characters is Duct literally tape. imaginary. Okay. <laughs> uh, Tom, give me something. Uh, my favorite character is. Arkillo. Wow. Oh, yeah. oh wow. I'm so surprised. It was a, it was a toss up for me between Arkillo and Larflees. For me? Yeah. I like Larflees, but he's almost Joker. He's just very Joker OP mode. Yeah. But like Arkillo, he's badass. He's he's on the run. He like he's the guy who's like, I punch first, ask questions later. Even if I don't have a tongue, I'm still gonna fight things. And all of a sudden, like he's shown kindness and he's like, I'll still protect you. That's my guy. You can't beat up. I can only beat him up, you know? <laughs> That's to me. That's true love. Fear is one of those emotions that now that I think about it, you can be hopeful in fear. Yes, and so you that's can the, fuck some shit up that's, and be. That's the thing is that mind. they yeah. like Dark Knight Rises. You yeah. know, like you move faster <laughs> when you you, know, you have fear. But like this is more like you have the power to invoke great fear. So yeah. you are part of the sinister code. I like actually have a very real story that happened this past week because I I studied Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and this dude like grabbed my arm. I was gonna do an arm bar. Mm-hmm. And out of fear, I panicked. I picked up his entire body with one arm nice. and slammed him on the ground. And yeah. I did not know that I was capable of that. But the fear it's, well, it's, it's, <laughs> drove it's, me it's to do something. Will, it's there the will go. to survive. And you're like the fear of you know pain and yeah. death. Um, but yeah, <laughs> uh, Arkillo all day, every day. Gangster as fuck. If you fight him in fucking uh, DC Universe Online, MORPG, he's gangster. And uh, Glommy, second. So it looks like they are her real wings that were there's a she's got a terrible story of why she's filled with rage. Like oh. terrible oh, wow. because oh. of the Sinestro core. Uh her rings are disabled, but they are kept together in that she keeps them together in that form yeah. with her ring. Okay. Okay. So Same. she's so angry. six of one, half a dozen the other. I'm okay with that. She's so well, they're, angry. They're, they're she like a part of her heritage, together. her wings. And yeah. these guys ripped them apart to keep her from escaping. And so she keeps them together. Was it the people on uh Sinestro? Yeah, cord. Sinestro Whoa. kept her as like a sex slave. <gasps> oh. So. Wow. Murder him. There you go. Please. Wow. She did. She vomited blood. Bitch, all down please. Va- lava blood. <laughs> lava Bitch, blood. please. <laughs> <laughs> so does that bring us to, to um, the qualms? The qualms or the gripes if you so chose? I'm so curious about what all these qualms are. Let's, sure. Let's roll them out. Do roll it. tide. All right. Jesus. Settle in. Okay. He's got a scroll, guys. <laughs> uh, 
one silly one because I know it's silly, but it's not silly to me. But I know it's going to be silly to everybody. <laughs> are, you, are you open if I be like, oh well, this is what happened? Sure, yeah, absolutely, hundred okay. percent. I don't think it will be. Oh, uh, it was oh, as man. soon as the uh, ship came out of the neutron star, whatever it was, the, yeah. the one that's the size of the solar system. Yeah, Invictus's the science ship. project. Yeah. Yeah. Immediately, I was like, planets aren't that close together. This isn't the size of a solar system. I mean, it's a miniature one. I mean, every star yeah. is a solar system. But it was it? just the what they what they said, the words that they used. Oh, okay. I was like, no. I mean, you know, <laughs> it's, it's stupid. If it's I stupid. see a long schlong it's that's not, like 50 feet long, I'm like, that's as big as a sperm whale. And they're like, no, they're about 100,000 feet long. It's like, okay, you know. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Uh, wow. Wow. I've, what a great the comparison. The thing that I've always, I've, I've noticed about all these qualms is they're usually like. Um, Factual. It's it's that. It's the. Um, I'm too logically driven sometimes. Yeah. It's the yeah, suspension of disbelief where you're like. Yeah. Yeah, you're talking really? about a guy who flies on willpower alone. Yeah. And you play, yeah. And, but it's established for I'm not trying to shit on your sure. qualms. I'm just no, like, I'm noticing like yeah. that's. And I will say, and you know, again, I give you a lot of shit for Destiny, but you play a game where you could jump twice in the air. Yeah, it's explained. Well, there's nothing there. <laughs> space you have magic. a little jet. <laughs> space you have, magic. Yeah, space magic. Yeah. And you have but a little jet saying something that I think it, it was based on like where they put the ships to. Yeah, because like when they gave you the size comparison, and they're like, "This is the size of a solar system," and then they put ships that look like they were within like close to approaching orbit, and then the planets look like they were really well, close together. The fact that you have planets well, revolving around a sun, a solar right? System. And well, I think, and yeah. that's that's to Maybe me what made our it solar system feels no. so it, much like a science project. Well, like whenever you see, like, yeah, it looked like a science project because when you see a science project, that's not accurate at and, all. And, and, and yeah. I mean, not the least. And I would say like it's kind of like Robert Downey Jr. saying, "I'm bringing the party to you." How's that a party? Yeah, you know, it's like oh, there's a solar system. It's if if like system. like different like the distance between Mars and and Earth is like if both of them were the size of a pea, like one would be here, the other one would be like in where New Mars York. is. No, it would be like in <laughs> it would be like in New York. My only argument to that because I I think it's valid is that it may not be our solar system they're comparing it to. But I didn't. Think, okay. I also still. didn't. I didn't take that seriously. I took it very like he's just making an like because they're, they're the size of planets. Yeah, he's like it's a fucking solar system. It's like yeah. It's so like kind of like seeing like it's raining cats and dogs. It's not raining cats and dogs, but it's raining a lot. You know what mm. I mean? It's like that's how I felt. That the it could have all made. been fixed if he said nearly the size of a solar system. Yeah. Would've, no. <laughs> <laughs> what if it's it was not, all in italics? It would have been like, I don't know. But anyways, that's just a stupid thing. But um, honestly, like the the issue, the main issue that I had um, was that I didn't know much of the backstory, mm -hmm. and I just it was hard for me to follow things at times, and like names were thrown out left and right that I just couldn't like remember. And so when, like, when characters would reference them later, I'd have to like look it up or go back and see like, wait, who are they talking about? Why does that matter? So that there was, it, it ultimately erased a lot more questions than it answered. Did it help that like different people said things with different colored speech boxes or speech bubbles? No, different I mean, it, I, I, Not always. I knew, I knew when characters were, I know like, it's I just could what they're referencing. The, yeah, it was the referencing. Mm -hmm. It was the not knowing why something was significant versus not significant. They were um, giving a lot of nuggets for like fans. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but for for first time readers, it was a little like, like what, you what just is said, this? Well, I like mean, when you said Green Lantern works well with blue, and like that's why his ring was overcharged. Like I didn't know that. It, like, it, I was it, like, oh, it, okay. it says it. No, I it mean, says it. But yeah. like I don't know. That's why. Oh. Like it just said. Oh, so I assume that was just a power that the blue guy had. It is essentially uh, it, their their ability is like the through but it, like not to only rings. to green. It's it's he can heal any ring, he can charge oh. any ring. It's just that he okay. can charge greens more. But like oh. even like this conversation that we're having. Yeah. Like I mean, I think the well, I didn't, I didn't, I only got that from this. Yeah, and I would say like this is like a first time for all these characters, just because he like, heals everyone else. The else's only ring characters I think are like old or like Kyle, or Kilo. Atrocitus, Larfley. Larfley's barely, but the Guardians. Mm -hmm. Everything else is new. Glommy, Monk, Fatality. Fatality think, is actually an older Green Lantern character. I but. think it's less about like who the characters are. Like they can be new and that's fine. Yeah. But there were a lot of concepts that were also new. So it was like wading through new concepts and new characters. Like there was just so much information on all sides that you're like, okay, wait, what? So he's. Sure. Yeah, yeah. It, it, there was just too I mean, much to process yeah, to, and this to is kind of latch on like, everything. Comic books are very plotty. Yeah. And so, like, they don't do a lot of, like, here's this long explanation of things, how they work. Right. Like how films normally do it. 
And so like the, that's the kind of thing that's very different with like film language and comic book language. And so sometimes you get adaptations that are like plot, 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 plot. And then you're like, wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> that that's Yeah. I, well, and like it's it's when, a trope in comics. When They'll they lost their rings. And you have to understand that that's what it does. Mm. When they lost their rings and they all came to Kyle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then other ones came. Mm -hmm. I was like, I thought they just lost their rings. Like, why are there more? You thought there was only one. Yeah, I I didn't. So I was I like, wait. So did as well. Did he duplicate them? Du like, yeah. Like, what happened exactly? So that's why I was like a little confused. And then like, was, like, was he? And then his when friend? they explained that they the, those are uh, decommissioned other lanterns, right? It made more sense. Like a little, yeah. But it, and then and then it was going to the planet. But I remember like the planet. I I remember that being like the Green Lanterns were this like intergalactic force. Mm -hmm. So why do they have? Like the, I guess, like I was confused as to why they had a planet. Then, if they were like, how are they a race? If they were supposed to be like this amalgamation of other races, they're not. They're not a race. It's just that's their base. They're like policemen. That's their HQ. There's Mexicans that's their HQ. and African Americans. Yeah. Took over they like explain a, a little bit from the Green Lantern movie you had seen. Yeah. Don't they go into that? Well, it was like yeah, I guess so. You had seen. You saw too. But I'm just saying because <laughs> he had seen it. He said it. Yeah, but like they had. Well, I guess like that's like their meeting place, and then they they it's their headquarters leave right. or whatever. Yeah, because each one is assigned to a different like sector. sector. Yeah, six six yeah. six 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 is. Oh man, is. throwing out those like sector six, sectors six, six. and those name don't mean units anything. and stuff. Yeah. Those don't mean. I, anything. I know it was that, but to me that was just one more thing that I'm like, oh shit, do I need to remember this right now? Like, we'll is it going to be important? I yeah, did same, I did the <laughs> same yeah. thing when I read it, and then I got through, and I was like, oh, it doesn't matter. And then I didn't, I didn't pick up on why he was. The, the main Invictus, was that his name? The, the Angel. The Angel, yeah. Fire Thanos. Why he stopped, like, fighting them and be then, like, be and then start fighting them again. He... Because he realized that the first time, he realized that he could use them to kill Lord Fleas, who is after him. So he was like, so, like okay. He explains that Lord Fleas came because every time he kills an enemy, he gets them as a construct, and he, Lord Fleas wanted an, an angel on, yeah. in his arsenal. But every time he killed it, their essence would go to the other angels and make them powerful. Like that, the movie The One, where like or you kill Highlander. the ones from e other universe and then the other there ones get... There could so only the less, be one! The less angels there are, the more powerful so, each single one So he's one like a becomes. race of angels? Yeah. Archangel, uh, uh, Invictus, yeah. He just, yeah. It's just from this. this it just oh. says Invictus. I guess that, that's part of it where it's like, I'm sure it was in there, but there's just so much information that I, like a lot of it just kind of like this went, is in, what went I, in, like immediately left my brain. This is what I call like, when comic book call quick, fast, and a hurry. Yeah, they just well, tell you. And that, that was the that was the issue that I had with it. It was that, like, it wasn't like a nice novel. Novel, you know, where <laughs> yeah. I was like, okay, yeah, I, can, I, mean, I can. This is the first one we've done. Give that's me not more a, just a trade. Yeah, <laughs> I, like give me, like take me through with like stick with Kyle, take me through one by one, like. But then like they immediately get rid of that because, like, I don't even know why they showed his intro, like his origin story, because it had no bearing other than uh, other than to show that like. He had a bond with that one guardian. I mean, that's and pretty that's much why. It. And that's why. That's why they showed it's it. It's pretty much the beginning is with the guardian, the ends with the guardian. But I wasn't even sure that time had passed because I think, correct me if I'm wrong, but it says like present day on when it goes back to him, but it never establishes a previous time. I actually, so I'm, I'm with you on that because I thought, I was like, did I miss a couple of I was like, oh, when was it not present day? He learned his powers quickly. Where, yeah, where well, I, was I was like, when was it not present day? Like, it doesn't say, montage or it something. says it up in the top corner. It'll say the year up there and then it'll yeah. go straight to present day. Right, but, but, but the year, it doesn't have a year until present day. Well, if the year is, does like, it? Yeah, it does. It has a previous year, and then it says present looking, day after. I was looking for e it. Even, but it's irregardless just, of that, in corner. is that like, for me, whatever. Whatever word I'm actually <laughs> supposed to use in that scenario. If I say something and then you say irregardless, that works. Cool. <laughs> so, I was expecting some kind of training montage to show the bond between them. Because for me, them just being buddy-buddy in the beginning... That didn't give me any emotional depth between the two of them, other than being like, I made a drawing of you. Are you my dad? Like, what you guys need is a movie. Yeah. Was there a Kyle Rayner run before this? Yes. yes. Okay. That's mm. what I need to read. Yeah. Yeah. Because, so how much time had passed? How long was he green? Maybe like a couple years, five years or something like that. Okay. okay. So Probably enough time to like even. train and stuff. To know yeah. what he's doing. Maybe less, maybe more. But I mean, yeah. the thing okay. is, he was able to be like an all powerful Hal Jordan. 
and mm. save the universe. Yeah, like him immediately being able to use that ring is supposed to be an indicator of like, oh, he's he is strong, strong with the will. He is strong. So yeah. ultimately, like, and I kept quiet while you were making the parallel to Guardians of the Galaxy because I completely disagree with it. Oh, um, Guardians of the Galaxy did a fantastic job of weaving the characters together and keeping you th- in the through line of of a plot. That you didn't have to know their backstory, but you understood why they were there in the moment. Because they gave you the backstory every time they wanted to talk to Peter Quill. That's fine. <laughs> but you understood why they were there. They all met at the prison. That's happenstance, whatever. That's convenient plot. But at, like they were there for that specific thing that they were trying to accomplish. I didn't get that sense here. Because it, it was like they they were, but it felt like they were kind of things were kind of happening like randomly. They're just happening all at once. And all at once. And it was just a little too much for me to like really get thorough enjoyment out of it. Like I, mean, I loved reading it. Like it was fun to go through the panels and like moment to moment it was really enjoyable. But as an overall thing, I was like, I didn't this left way too many questions for me. And I don't know if I'm yeah. interested enough to find the answers. Got it. Hmm. Interesting. I mean, to me, there's a, a fine line between like having to explain everything versus yeah. like this is how the flow of comic books go. Yeah. yeah. And like with Hush and Flashpoint and everything that we've read before, they do that. Yeah. Because Batman doesn't have any powers. Flash, speed. Mm-hmm. And then this one, like, you have to kind of pick things up as you go. So yeah. it does take, like, I wouldn't say, like, you need to know everything. But you need to kind of, like, have the sense of, like, I'm willing to ride the ride mm-hmm. without having all any answers. Mm-hmm. And to see where it's going to lead me to. Mm-hmm. That's the kind of, like, way a lot of comic books go. That happened with, like, Secret Empire, with Captain America becoming Hydra Agent. That be, happened with infamous Iron Man where Dr. Doom became Iron Man. There's a lot of things that yeah. do that that aren't like But this. that's my hurdle for like wanting to read more comics in general. That's why I said yeah. that at the beginning. It's like it's like what I said to Kaylin a minute ago. It's like sometimes in comics something will happen and it's just like from now on that's just what it is. Yeah. You have to understand that that's like, oh, Walker healed his ring. Cool. He heals rings. And they I mean, don't ever like right. say you have the power to Charge up other lanterns' rings. You just see them do it. Not a big kind monologue, of like, just kind of like a. This you have is to kind of like. It's not like that. an anime where it's like I'm from the blah 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 tribe and I do blah blah. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> especially fair. like in film. Well, I'm used to like TV and film where that's the Batosai, like, the manslayer. Like, <laughs> plot holes are like severely critiqued, and so like when there is one in a comic, and you're supposed to just have a suspension of disbelief or just accept it for what it is, that's where. It breaks a little bit. Well, for me. in in a weird way, kind of some of that it, could be the artist translation from artist to script as could well. Could be, yeah. yeah. So like maybe the guy wrote it like I want this to be the size of a, a solar system. And he's like, okay, this is what I fit on a page. Yeah. yeah. Um, and also I think that kind of comes to hand with like what happens with comic book adaptations to movie, right? Like a lot of times, like comic book adaptations will lose a lot of plot because they want to just tell like the character. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like Civil War, Captain America, all about Captain America. That Civil War is nothing like that. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. You think this is kind of crazy? Like, learn about Penance, learn about Speedball, learn about, like... Oh, Penance. All these characters that you're like, who the fuck are these guys? I forgot. Learn yeah, about that's Cloak and exactly Dagger. exactly what I was learn thinking. About, he he learn like about Voldo. Nimbor, learn about the Negative Zone. You're like, excuse me, what's the 32 coins in D- Daredevil's mouth? Yeah, and so what? part of my critique is not necessarily 100% on, on this. It's comics on, in general. It's on, well, even slightly more specifically, it's on New 52. Uh, I'd have to challenge that because I, I think you need to read a little bit more than New 52. I probably do, but the I've only read like the first couple issues of like Batman's and things like that. Mm-hmm. They're not they're not intros. Yeah, because they're supposed to be jumping off points of like this is where you could start with them, and you don't need to know anything prior. Mm-hmm. That's where I would argue that's not the case for that. But this that isn't is a jumping. Off point. Maybe just me. This isn't a jumping off point. Like if it was if it was Green Lantern, Hal Jordan one, yes, it'd be okay. But so that's my critique. It's kind of like Justice League one. Like you need to know everything about all these characters. So beforehand. how many of the 52 comics are jumping off points? All of them other than the ensemble ones. So, hmm. so 47. Yeah. <laughs> so you see, you see what I'm so saying. So not this one. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, it would be probably ensemble comic books then. Maybe. Because I feel like with like a crossover event, it'd be kind of tough too. I was fine with Flashpoint though. That's not a cross. That's not like I mean, an ensemble. No. That's all Flash. That's all, all Flash story. I suppose. Mm. So they give you more characters. time to like flesh everything out. When yeah, it's an individual. I think it might be that because a lot of the ensembles do that. They'll just introduce like, the new characters like they did here and just yeah. Be like this like is after what they this do. is Blackest Night, and it only follows Hal Jordan, mm-hmm. and oh. kind of actually a uh, Barry Allen, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and it's only those two. But then it has tie-ins to this because that that is an event that happened all over DC. But then Batman has issues that happens in there, even though he's dead. And then, <laughs> oh man. 
Oh. So you, like you read the Batman Court of Owls stuff mm-hmm. and you didn't enjoy that either? I did. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, I don't yeah. think it's about enjoying it. Yeah. I think it's, it, I don't think that's the qualm of it. It's more so like. Having enough context to well, understand. Well, that's what I mean for the, because yeah. you're talking about the new 52, like that with that, the Batman Court of Owls. Yeah. Cause well, I had, I had some grounding on that one. Got it. Like for this one, I had nothing. I, well, I went in completely I would, blind. I would argue, imagine the person has no grounding of Batman who like has all the grounding of Green Lanterns. Sure. Like yeah. they would probably have the same feeling. Yeah, they would. Um, And, and I think that's the tough thing is kind of like with every quote unquote jumping out point of like a new run, mm-hmm. it's always like uh, trying to figure out how much Gauging go? how much do you explain and do you alienate the readers who have been long time yeah. readers by explaining too much right because like I, I agree with the court of owls if they had gone into it like a batman origin i would have mm-hmm. been like fuck this i'm not reading this yeah we don't need to that's a good point as that's david barry point. says on crusaders we don't need to see the pearls again yeah, yeah. but uh um, but like i guess to wrap to wrap up my qualms like i would have loved to read like some other green, green lantern thing sure Prior before this. this i will have yeah. recommendations yeah. Yeah. yeah good and we have to read the thing after that anyways <laughs> so that would bring us to the rating. I think I'm going to read. Actually, is Ollie else? is the did only one who mine. did the qualm. <laughs> oh, did you guys have qualms last night? Um, Caitlin? I, I don't, hilariously enough, I don't think I actually have uh, much in the way of qualms aside from the same mm-hmm. the same point is that I just didn't have enough context and um, I want to read more, but I don't know what I would read. We got it. We got you. Yet. 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 <laughs> Um, I mean, I don't really have qualms much. I mean, there was the only qualm, and this is me reaching. I, I am reaching here. Is at the beginning scene, it we're establishing that Kyle is an artist mm-hmm. and all this kind of stuff. And I know that he designed his costume. And one could argue that his power is artistry because mm-hmm. he can create. Yeah. It's very like, he can just be like, it's very creative. Well, mm-hmm. But it was like, this is so stupid. Please let me just preface. No. Like him like drawing. Like you told me that he has this like ability, not like superpower. He just is an artist. Mm-hmm. So maybe his power fulfills him and he doesn't need to creatively express himself like drawing and it's stupid. No, I, I'm, I'll, I'm I'll take here. that a step I, further and say I didn't get enough Kyle in this. I got a lot of Green Lantern. Because it's yeah. not a house mm. Kyle, Kyle, Kyle story. Yeah. yeah. So that would have been interesting to learn um, more about. I mean, the thing is, this is like Kyle Rayner who makes a chibi, who makes a mech. Yeah. Versus Hal Jordan who makes a, a softball mitt. Uh, and that's the thing is that Hal Jordan's shtick is like he makes very simplistic things. John Stewart. Hammers. The black one. John Stewart makes like guns because he's a Marine. And uh, like his constructs are so detailed. Like you can see scratches in his in his weaponry. Oh. Uh, because you know your mem- gun. Because he memorizes his gun. He memorizes the pieces that work with it. And his constructs are typically stronger. Because like there's so much more in the amount of it. definition that, and then Guy Gardner is just kind of like, I'm Mel Gibson from Lethal Weapon. What? Oh, much. yeah. <laughs> so that that's just me reaching. Like I I maybe it's now I've read enough comic books to be kind of when something like happens where it's like I have to have suspension of disbelief. I just go, mm-hmm. all right, cool. Okay. Yeah. There's people that shoot beams out more. their eyes. Huh? <laughs> I need to learn that more. Yeah, I mean, I think it's just reading comics. Like you start to go, okay. I I, I like how Corey put it, where it's like, this is the way that it is. Mm -hmm. Flip the page. Um, Mm -hmm. I mean, the cool thing is like Kyle Rayner kind of became like I feel like fan service, Mm -hmm. where it's like, whatever you want to create in the modern world, he can create it. If you want him to make a fucking iPhone twelve, he'll make an iPhone twelve. You know what I mean? Like that kind of shit, where he makes mechs and chibis. At one point, he had a fucking full. Thing of armor, yeah, I thought was dope. The mech, yeah. and he had the like Titanic was the ship that yeah, yeah comes yeah. in, yeah. So anyway, well, like how Jordan makes from. fucking cars. I yeah. thought he just wanted to make a big boat. <laughs> uh, core qualms, none. Um, I have one, none. but I'll explain why. I feel like there's a cop out. I'll explain why in my rating because okay. it's the only qualm I have, and it's the only reason why I rate the way that I rate. Okay, Fair so enough. you get to start rating. That's right. I'll go for it. I'll go first <laughs> since you have an explanation. Four, okay. four. Yeah. Uh, mine's four point two. And the reason it's 0.8 off is because this is a normal comic book run-of-the-mill story. There's nothing super, like, holy shit, groundbreaking, fucking Batman has, like, a fucking dude, blah, 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 or it changes the blah, blah. Except for the guy getting all the rings. This is just establishing the status quo. This is just establishing, like, this is what's going to happen for the next few issues. And this is what's going to happen. This is how the face of the Green Lantern War is going to work, is that there's going to be small little fits between all the lanterns and all that shit but also like Kyle Rayner is finding himself being the leader not of 
the Green Lantern Corps, but of other corps. Mm-hmm. And Hal Jordan and Jon Stewart are the ones going to yeah. be leaders of their own whatever shit. Yeah. And so, like, I was like, to me, it was so, such like, it felt such so much like a like a two-hour pilot. Yeah. For a mm. show. Mm. Where it's like, here's all the shit. Here's 300 pages of pilot. Here you go. <laughs> yeah. Uh, maybe like 70 pages. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> The digital version says 300? 150 each. Oh, okay, well then maybe. But maybe it's all the filler stuff because the, the the digital version still has like all the artwork. The, like, oh. Yeah, they the, have the artwork. Those are all, all the kind of uh, covers. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Which is dope. Uh, Josh? I think it was. Oh, yeah, you already did. I did a four. Oh, did? Um, oh. Yeah, four for the same reasons. Like I liked it a lot. I liked the ensemble. Uh, I have other comics that I rated it against you, that I like a lot more. Have you read Blackest Night? Yeah. Since. Since this. Okay, yeah. Uh, but this was like, what got me into it. I was going to say, so, yeah. Like, there's other comics that I put above it, so four is where I'm at. But I like to Tom's rating, like four to me is a, is a masterpiece. And as far as like ensemble comics that I've read, this is probably my favorite one so far. Cool. The cool thing I just grabbed a lot, and I I, I appreciate the fact that the the writer Tony Bedard yeah. uh, was able to put in Blue Beetle. And it's to me it it does a good job if for, personally fulfilling me if I find a new, like I found a new character within the DCU that I love. Yeah, and it's in my top three now. And it made me look up all the other Lantern cores and learn everything I could about them. Yeah. So for me, it did it did what it what I go to comics for, and is to like expand what I know about it. And I, I kind of like I, I like the fact that it like it's like here are all the colors. Like before, this was just like Green Lantern, like comic book, and then all of a sudden like, hey, here's this thing about yellow. What the fuck is yellow? I never 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 seen yellow. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, hey, there's a thing about red. What the fuck you mean this red? How many colors are the motherfucker? And then all of a sudden, this came out like. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> and like wanting having one that I'm like, I hope they write more about Indigo is is a big. Plus you could probably me. find like small six issue runs. Yeah, I wanted the comic to just be called Roy G. Biv. <laughs> yeah, Roy G. Biv, Green Lantern, Roy B. G. Biv. Um, <laughs> could have made the G all nice and fancy. Yeah, yeah. it's green. But four point five. Four point. Ooh, wow. Um, I don't know. It ranks up there. I mean, I didn't know much about. Green Lantern. I'm a lot more interested in Green Lantern now. So good. Um, <laughs> so good. I mean, there are. You're things, right, Tom. I I was an uncultured swine before. Uh, I mean, there are some things that it's just maybe it comes from comic book logic for me that I'm like, all right, I can see past it in a way. I can recognize and see the qualms that have been spoken in this room. Yeah. Um, but I I still I I really liked it. It was good. And I didn't have many qualms. They were silly things that I was like, ah. Oh. Can we make... I want to see him draw more. Can we make a nerd on ring? Yeah. You do in other comics. You see him draw more. And make okay, it good. the nerd encore? Yeah. Yeah. What color? Pink and blue. Shit brown. Wow. wow. <laughs> That's actually uh, the wow. uh, core of... I'm kidding. Is there a brown wow. core? There's no... <laughs> no. What was yours, Josh? 4.5. 4.5. It doesn't matter, Caitlin. Yours is individual. Yeah. yeah. I'm aware. I know, I just didn't hear what he said. Uh, mine is a 4.3. Mm-hmm. All right. um, above the Tom. Ab- above the Tom. Uh, but I, I always kind of rate things higher. Mine is usually, my rating is always off of my entertainment from whatever the media was. Mm-hmm. I was entertained. Mm, it Josh, it what didn't a concept. like <laughs> blow me away. Are yeah. you not entertained? But I, I liked the characters. I liked the story. You liked the colors? I liked the colors. Mm-hmm. Um, it was very pretty. Uh, I liked the um, emotional side and how they were using that to be like, you can always like find more power if you need it because it's there. Um, yeah. So I, I like the premise and everything, but I just didn't have enough context to feel like I enjoyed this to its fullest extent. Sure. I'm so emotional right now. If you could put a color, <laughs> well, I was gonna say to your emotion. Yeah, what gonna, would it be? Well, I was gonna say <laughs> after I want to do this gush, but I was gonna be like, who do you think all our cores would be? We'll we'll get there. Okay, we'll get we'll there. Get we'll do it later. Uh, mine, my score is. I win. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Wow. Uh, it's a three point two. I win. <laughs> Uh, uh, Ollie's the grump of the week. Dun, dun, dun. And it's mostly because, Damn. like, for Hush, for instance. Yeah. I just, like, I blazed through that. It's, I, it's set the, it's set the it was, I think, it's set I the, think it, the difference is that you're talking about a contained trade, and what yeah. we read were issues. Issues, and also, 
um, like to your to whoever said it, like nothing incredibly mind blowing happened to Same. me. Um, so I wasn't I wasn't like super impressed by the proceedings, I suppose. Um, and I had all those like hangups where I was like, wait, what happened? I had to like go back, and I was like, wait, who's yeah. this talking about? So just it just like trying to be objective, but at the end of the day, it was like my experience. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. Yeah. I Maybe win. if you knew more more information, it might be different. It might be different, but yeah. it's the presentation and the experience. Okay. Everyone at home, if you picked Ali, you win too. Yeah, you win too. <laughs> Victory dance. I don't want to be <laughs> the grumps. But who? What? What core do you? What would you be in? I would probably be blue. Blue. We we know. should have we should have other people guess because we're all just gonna say our favorites. Not really what we yeah. apply to. I would love to be in Green Lantern Corps, but I'm like also fear and fucking red. I think Tom would be red. You think? I honestly think you'd be indigo. Really? Compassion? Yeah. Yeah. You'd be compassion. You're only wearing a purple shirt right now. Yeah. You'd be compassion. But you take on a lot of what other people feel. (laughs) But you know, if I lose my rage, I will die. Yeah. 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 But I do barf red lava blood. Yeah. Yeah. Napalm. (laughs) Napalm Napalm blood. I think you would be indigo. (laughs) Okay. After your full Compassion. (laughs) You, Corey, yeah, you'd be blue. You're Corey's blue. He's hope all the way. You're useless unless there's a green light in your yeah, Aww. pretty much. The flange. Yeah, I'm all flange. hope, no willpower. <laughs> Who do you think Ali would be? Ali? You can say love. Fucking too. orange. <laughs> Lord, please get no. orange. Greed? Uh, no. Lord, please, who gets all of the fucking... What's orange, though? Uh, greed. Greed. Greed? Greed. Avarice. Okay. Avarice. <laughs> Essentially just greed, yeah. Uh, I think, I actually think Ali would be... Uh, I was going to say love. White. Violet, yeah. Yeah. Violet? Yeah. That's love? Yeah, hold on. You're, no, he's called a star sapphire. Yeah, yeah. you're a star you're sapphire. A star They're sapphire. not called the. Pink. I love that her name was Fatality. They're violet lanterns. If she was. <laughs> it's legit. Fatality. They're, they're yeah. violet lanterns. Wait, what's whatever? She's star sapphire. No, there's the yeah. pink. They're, yeah. they're all Carol Ferris is star sapphire. Yeah. Is of the. Star, but it's the violet. Yeah. Lantern the Zamoron bullshit. Blah blah. Yeah. So now Caitlin, there's one remaining. Caitlin, I know wants to be red. in red. No, I don't. She wants to be yellow or yellow because she wants to instill fear. But she doesn't. I don't really want that. I don't know. You have said on the show it's that you would fun. like to fight people. Yeah, but that's all the actually, time. I think you'd be. Perfect. I only want to fight people indigo. that want to fight me. Indigo. I think you'd be indigo, actually. Indigo. What's that one again? Passion. Passion. John Stewart gets part of that one, and he goes like in his old camo. It's really interesting. It looks stupid. Tom's I do take <laughs> prisoners and strip their emotions. So Tom. Tom's green all day. True. A hundred percent green. True. <laughs> Tom is green. In because, brightest day in because, blackest night, and to a fault. Because you're just like, sometimes you'll push yourself. You'll come over to my house and be like, how you doing, buddy? He's like, I got so much shit I'm doing. I got so much shit I'm working. I haven't slept. I haven't eaten. I've edited these four things. I got to go to this job in Santa Monica. I got to do these. And he does them all perfectly. I so, am a week behind on my work. Willpower. <laughs> Tom, is, Tom is Christmas colors. Yeah. He's, I'm he's Kyle ra- Rainer. Rage I win. And willpower. Yeah, so he's green two. and red. Okay. Just the green two. And red. Green and red. Oh, Christmas. So, yeah. Christmas colors. Uh, Guy Gardner gets the red. Yeah. You're Guy Gardner. Oh, I get punched in the face by Batman. Yeah. Oh, well, sorry, buddy. But I put pressure on you kiss a spaceship. The, as it comes in, Tom just kisses the fist. Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> um, gush a little bit. You want to gush? Just real quick. Yeah. yeah. Gush, One of my man, favorite panels, or maybe pages, the full page is, and I've already said it was like one of my favorite parts, but it's my favorite panel, I think, is when all of the, like, it's kind of, it's, Kyle and all of the rings are going on and it's just like Lisa he Frank. literally just has this face of what the fuck mm-hmm. uh, and it's just really cool to just see all of the bling that there yeah. it is Corey, Corey brought the up room. the page for those that can't see what's happening he's right like, now I don't would understand. you say that that's a what the fuck there's another face? shot of him with the with yeah. the chrome gear yeah chrome which it's white yeah. but it's actually oh, gray yeah oh. and so that's like imperfect white yeah yeah um, but my favorite one is actually very similar. It's the one, I don't even know if it's a, actually in there. It's the one where there's all yeah. the, that's the shot. Yeah. That's the one. Yeah. Where it's, he's like, I got this. Yeah. My favorite one is the one where it's all the different versions of him. If he was, that's in those the cores. third variant. Right? Yes. Wait. Are you it just shows about? like a, a version of him. If he was a orange lantern, a version of him, if he was like a red lantern. Oh, I don't know where that is. I thought you were talking about the one where the the perfect the first lantern rips him apart, and I was like, "That's in volume three. You guys are talking about all these cool moments, and like one of my favorite bits was Glommy's little pout lip. 
Oh. Yeah. When, cause it's <laughs> when he knew stupid. he had disappointed. Oh, when he has a little pout lip because you just feel for him so much. A glommy moment when he's like, he's vicing open this thing Ooh. and he's like, oh, you're just like, you're just like part of the, yeah, the orange core or whatever. And he's like, no, I'm glommy. Yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> glommy I'm is me. glommy. Glommy is glommy. So he's like sticking out for himself, even though he's part yeah. of the hive mind. Yeah. No, well, cause like, they're not technically. It feels very goony. They are, but they're not. They still retain some of themselves. Yeah, but they're still high mind. But they have to do if, what he says. Oh, 100%. Sort yeah. of. Sort of. And, and he knows what feel. they know. Yeah, yeah he did. He, did. he does know. Glommy did not immediately kill. Um, he was like, no. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. No. Yeah. I like uh, when Glommy gets killed and then he comes back and the pose he has when Larflees makes him come back is just his hands on her hip like Peter Pan smiling. It's like, <laughs> I'm alive! I like that. I like that little bit. Glommy was really well, cute. I feel complete. I, I feel completed. complete. Oh. Yeah. Wow. I'm, I'm bad Corey. at complete. <laughs> there it is. I just wow. wanted to beat Tom to the punch. That's good. Tell, wow. us, that. tell us your favorite Glommy moment. Yeah, yeah. Your favorite moment. Your rating. Your favorite mm -hmm. squishy bean with forearms yeah. moment. What comic book trade would you like us to talk about yes. next? Yes. That, which one do you think Ollie should read? Yeah, which We're, one did you read before that one? <laughs> <laughs> which is probably a more crazier uh, splatter of different characters that Ollie can read. Yeah. Oh my gosh. No more. I like, I, it was already kind of tipping the scales. I got it. Avengers Initiative, where there's four Scarlet Spiders led by a fucking Iron uh, yeah, Warhammer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, yeah, whoa, let's whoa. Do that whoa. Uh, War let's do that one. Let's that that one. sounds that like a lot dope. for me. <laughs> well, the Batman core. If you would like to reach out to us, Dark Snake. I've got one place that you can go to. One place. Can you believe it? Wow, no. And it's only it's not even butter. It's one, uh, it's six, seven, eight, nine characters that you just have to type on there. Yeah, that's too many characters for one. It's, it's too much. Yeah, nerdon.tv. That's too. That's too long. I just don't want to overwhelm. <laughs> anyway, I wouldn't be able to. With characters. I can't. I can't parse that if there's we too just many characters. did that's a lot. Six. <laughs> no, yeah. I don't want to do any more. Oh, okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. No. Well, okay. If it's not too much, you can go to nerdon.tv and it has out. all the things. It has all the links up at the top right. You can see all of the links, all of our social medias where you can come and you can click, click, and you can comment. You can tag us. You can tell us your thoughts. You can. Slide into them DMs. You can also catch up, on, catch up on all the old podcast episodes from the last years. Mm -hmm. We had Kevin years. Conroy on here. Yeah. Can you believe it? Oh, th it. you know what? This, this is, is our first episode of 2019. <gasps> it just like hit Happy me in New the Year, face. everybody. Happy, Happy New, New Year. Happy New Year. Ba, 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 so, ba. It's 2019. There's a whole year and some change that you can listen to for free 90 free on Apple Podcasts. And... But wait, there's more. Wow. We have another podcast hosted by our friends, Nikki and Izzy, called oh, yeah, Trope do. Time, mm -hmm. that you can check them out on the Apple Podcast. Yes, sir. Uh, you can find out information about them. Tropetime.com leads you right there to all the infos and the informations and the things. Um, but the most important thing that I would like to say is thank you. Yeah. Thank you to our listeners. Uh, thank you to everybody that's been with us since the beginning. Just thanks for listening. Thanks, I mean, Dad. Thanks, Mom. Thanks, thanks for joining thanks the Nerd Encore. Thanks, Uncle. Thanks wow. for giving us time out of your day, spending time with us and hearing our thoughts and mm -hmm. talking to us online with mm -hmm. comments and reviews and everything else. We really appreciate it. Yeah. It's going to be a good year. A very good year. It's just the beginning. Mm -hmm. We have so many plans. And on that, as always, Nerd On! Broadcast.